Hey guys, it's Erin. Um, and I'm sorry if I'm talking a little bit like too loud or, or too soft. I can't really hear myself. I, have, I got like a really bad ear infection. And um, I haven't been going to work or to school or anything like that. Um, why am I wearing this? I have a lot of weird Disney stuff because I go to Disneyland all the time with my girlfriend. But um... Yeah, my last video was really long, and I will not make it that long again. <laughs> I don't know. I think I got like excited because my girlfriend was in it, and I was like, "But um, this week was top. This this week's topic was um, the same sex marriage and what it's like in your country. And as you guys all know, I live in California, which is the United States, and they just approved it, the Supreme Court. And, um, I mean, it's good, it's great that it's been approved, but just because it's been approved doesn't mean that everyone's gonna, like, listen to, you know, listen to it and follow it. Like, uh, I don't know if you guys have heard that a lot of states, like in Texas and stuff, but they're not really, like, it's approved, but, um, people are saying that they're not gonna, they're not gonna, um, let others marry because against their religion but it doesn't even make any sense right but um yeah um i don't know it's not it's not even so much like i remember when i was in high school and we would have like um like debates and i really like my um my like econ class and my government class because I, I love debating i for at one point i wanted to be a lawyer but i'm like nah um but I remember that everyone thought it was just like, just because we want to get married, you know, just to say that we can get married. But it's not just about that. It's about the benefits that you get out of it. Like, for example, I don't know if you guys knew about the case where um, this woman, she she was like in critical condition and um, her girlfriend, since they weren't married, they couldn't share like insurance or anything like that. So, um, the woman, she could have gotten the care that she needed if she, they would have just like, you know, let her girlfriend put her on her insurance, but they didn't. And the lady ended up passing away. And imagine it could have saved her life if someone would have like, you know, approved that before. And it's just little things like that. Like you can put your significant other on your like dependent now when you do, when you file for taxes, you can, um, let's see, you can adopt kids together and like adoption rates are going down and, um, just things like that and it's it's just um I don't know it just makes me very angry that that people find it in themselves to to make it about them and um I were having this conversation with my with my girlfriend because um we were talking about how how um a couple of people that we have on uh, like Instagram and Facebook how they put up this picture i don't know if anyone has seen it say something about how they're christian and how they still love us if you know we're we're part of the lgbt community but they don't approve the lifestyle and like i was just thinking of how much of hypocrites they were because we know these people and we've known them since high school and we've known what they've done and it was like how can you sit there and judge me for being who I am when you're going like behind your Christian life and doing worse things and like even more if you like claim to have dated like uh, girls if you're a girl or a boy if you were a boy you know like you sound so stupid and it's just like hypocritical hypocritical of you if you're saying that and it just made me very angry because like how can someone be that stupid but yeah, um, I don't know, I just think if it doesn't involve you, don't like put your opinion into it because you're not living that life and you don't know what it's like to be in that position. So if it's not physically or like, you know, whatever, if it's not harming you in any way, then don't get into the business, you know, it's not your, your choice to say what 
other people can do it. If you're not a freaking person that's part of like the LGBT community, just shut your mouth. Shh, don't say nothing because you don't know what it's like. Um, okay, well, that was all I pretty much had to say. I don't know. I'm getting kind of angry just thinking about it. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, um, my video was uploaded late last time and i apologize for that so now i'm making them like super advanced um but well, i hope you guys enjoyed my video and um i'll see you guys next week and yeah that's pretty much it oh, my ear hurts like really bad like, I don't even feel like doing anything for the rest of the year or anything like that. I don't know, like, earaches are really bad. If you guys know how to get rid of these, like, just let me know and then I'll do whatever you guys tell me because, like, honestly, like, I went to the doctors and they gave me, like, like antibiotics and medicine and it won't go away. Like, I'm starting to think that's not even the real pain. Maybe it's, like, something that has to do with my throat or my, like, teeth or something, you know? But I don't know, it's just not going away. Anyways, um... Yeah, hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys next week.